All right, so the electrical boxes, we always use uh, clear silicone to seal them really well before we foam so the foam doesn't shoot out. But today I'm gonna try Flex Seal, see how that works. And as I was uh, looking at the uh, Flex Seal, I noticed the Gorilla also has something similar. So we're gonna put these against each other and see which one works best or see if any of them will work. I know this will work, but it just takes a long time to apply. Whereas this would be super fast. So we'll see which one works best. Welcome to Texas Barn Dominions. My name is Eric and today we're gonna seal all the penetrations on this building. In order to do that, we're gonna test Flex Seal and we're gonna put it up against Gorilla Waterproof Patch and Seal. Of course, Flex Seal has been around for a long time. We all know what it, it claims to do. But today we're gonna see if this one's any better. Maybe none of these will work. I don't know yet. Uh, typically we just seal all the penetrations with silicone but as you can imagine it's kind of a pain in the neck to go around and kind of get the tube in there and try to get it in there with your fingers and sometimes there's metal shavings and uh, anyway so I figured let's give these a try and see if they work let's go find out all right so we have a plug right here plug box and we have a switch box up here so uh, like I said you know we always have to come in here and try to seal all these cracks and try to see all this in here which uh, like I said it's pretty hard so what I did here is I taped everything on the outside just to make sure it doesn't run anywhere and I'm gonna spray let's do a flex seal on the bottom one and gorilla on top and see which one works better or if they even work I've actually never tried this. I was just over at Home Depot and uh, I was actually buying silicone so I can seal these things and I thought, you know what? Let me try this stuff. It might just work. All right, we're gonna do the flex seal on the bottom. It's sealing pretty good right there. Okay. I don't see any more daylight. All right. Well, this stuff is pretty thick. Oh, there's a lot of daylight right there. Let me go around the other side, make sure I'm not spraying onto the concrete. Uh, let me spray the other way. All right, just let it build up. That worked really good, I think. Let's wait for it to dry out and see what it feels like. All right, so the Flexio is done. As you can see, there's no daylight anywhere. So, very well. And it didn't take much. All right, let's do the Gorilla. This is a bigger switch box, but same deal. Um, I added tape right here because this one I'm gonna do from the inside out. And I'm afraid it's gonna shoot onto the floor so that's what I did just kind of want to make sure I don't make a mess all right so this one's the gorilla let's see how it does it's extremely similar so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray up here and kind of let it run down I find that if I don't press the nozzle all the way down it works best Less pressure, more build it. See that? We go on the outside. All 
Oh man, I think they work. I think they both work really well. Ooh, I got some on the metal. Better take it off. All right, so be careful. I added more tape here earlier because I did the same thing with the uh, flex seal, but just be very careful when you're spraying on the outside. Of course, I'm only using one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other hand, but it sealed really well, just like the uh, flex seal. All right, so I got overspray on both, on the bottom here with the flex seal, and uh, you can see I pretty much took it all off just with a paper towel. The Gorilla, I can't get it off. So I think the Gorilla sticks a lot better than the Flex Seal. So I'm gonna have to use some uh, alcohol or acetone or something to get it off. Cause this stuff sticks like crazy. So again, be careful, <laughs> protect everything. I try to protect it, I did. I mean, I got some overspray, but I think if you were using both hands, you can simply put some cardboard there and hold it in place. It'd be a lot easier. But so far, both of these are working really good. So let's give it a few minutes to uh, dry up completely and uh, we'll see how they do. All right, so acetone took it right off. A little bit down here. Yep, takes it right off. All right, so I'm starting to figure out that it's probably gonna be very hard for me to show you how well it works. So I'm gonna do it out here. The small plate is the uh, Flex Seal. The bigger one is gonna be the Gorilla. All right. Let's see how long it takes to dry. It's been almost an hour. And the, uh, it's still tacky, the Gorilla, the Flex Seal. Uh, they're about the same. So not much difference. So if I had to guess, I would say they're very similar. Um, only difference was the Gorilla was a little bit harder to take off on the metal. So maybe it does a little better. Um, it says that it seals out water and moisture, so that's good. Again, they're, bo they're both the same. So I say if you wanna try it, it's gonna work really good for you and get whichever one is on sale. I don't think there's a lick of difference between the two, uh, at least not any measurable difference. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this short video comparing the Flex Seal versus the Gorilla. Like I said, they both work just as fine, just as well, and uh, use whichever one's cheapest. Uh, I really like what it does. It really seals the, uh, the, uh, all the perforations that we made. Like I said, make sure you put tape on the outside first, otherwise this stuff is just gonna shoot through, but get it to build up, and once it dries, it dries really good, very solid. You can see there's no daylight anywhere. This stuff is sealed super tight. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time. We are Texas Barnum Mediums.